So this is a Jackery 500. I mean, I've been seeing these all over the web. You know, I mean, they gave away a lot of them for review. And uh, this one, 500 watts. All right, now what does that mean? Watts divided by volts equals amps. Amps times volts equals watts. So that varies on whichever outputs you're using. Uh, you can do the calculations. And this one, you know, it has the, uh, the three outputs. It has AC, 120 volt, pure sine wave, which is great. Uh, you can use it on your electronics, delicate electronics. And it does work, it has been tested. I think uh, Hobo Tech Guy reviewed it and uh, tested it. Uh, thank you. And I've got the USB outputs. And it doesn't have USB-C. Uh, it does have DC 12 volt output with two other connectors for output. And then there's an input. And on this input, you can put solar, 12 volt from the car, or you can put this, uh, this brick, you know, with uh, 120 AC. Hey, maybe I'll plug it in here and loop it around and charge the thing with itself. Yeah, that'd be a great idea. Anyway, so it's pretty good. I've used this, I've tested it a lot at home. I mean, a lot. And uh, I'm primarily using it for my laptop. And I have a 12 volt adapter for my laptop. I can plug it in here and charge my laptop seven times off this beast. Uh, this is the equivalent of a 41 amp hour AGM battery. The difference is on a 40 amp hour AGM battery, you're only gonna get about 20 amps out of it uh, because it takes the voltage down so low. Usable amps, right? This is 40 usable amps, which is pretty good. It's made up of these uh, small, the battery bank itself is made up of these small cylindrical batteries. They're quick to point out that uh, Tesla uses the same battery, blah, 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 blah. Well, that's good news. And uh, I mean, you know, it gives me a little concern because you have a whole bank built up of these small batteries. It, eventually, if one of those batteries goes bad, you have to disassemble this and unsolder that battery, find a bad boy, take it out, throw it away, put in a new one, and get it back to full power. But that's in my future somewhere far away. I needed a few things to make it more usable. The rig comes with these two wires. This is one wire. You can plug this into the 12 volt input and you can charge this from your car. So all the inputs go here. The AC input also goes here and you can charge it from the wall. And that's wonderful. But what I needed, you know, being, <laughs> being out here off grid, I needed a little more. So I tracked down another input wire for the solar, an input wire. The input wire is like some weird eight millimeter connector. I mean, really, it's, uh, why don't they just use something standard, you know? Anyway, I got this thing. I had to order this $18 for this cable. I'll put links below. Uh, but it's a good thing to have because I can hook this to any of my solar panels now. If you have a 100 watt or less solar panel, you can hook it up to here and it'll charge this. And it does a pretty good job. It charges pretty fast and I'm pretty happy with that. But I had to get this. I cut off the ends. I put on alligator clips because that's how I like to charge things. I can hook anything to it. The controller is built in. You don't need to buy a controller for this. Now, on the output side, I want to be able to do things with this. And uh, again, it's another oddball. Well, I called Jackery and complained that I needed some output wires and they were very nice. They sent me this thing for free. Uh, I can plug this in here and I can plug in something here. So that's two outputs, right? If I have a auto cigarette lighter type output. Okay, that's great. But I'm a real hobbyist and uh, I like to do things on my own. I bought this thing. I bought two of these. These are outputs. The output is a different size from the input. The input, the outputs don't fit in the input. So you need different connectors for here and for here. And this connector is what you can get. Uh, Goal Zero sells these things. I got links in the bottom for this too. You know, you hook this up and you can connect any 12 volt device you want on here and this one same thing I, I cut off the ends here and I put on my own connector because that's the kind of guy I am and uh, so I can have three different devices plugged in here assuming it can handle the load so my point here is these accessories 
are about 17, 18 bucks a pop. And I needed to buy all three of them for this to be a complete system for me. But now that it's done, it's pretty damn good. And uh, I can just uh, grind away in my trailer with my computer for as long as I want. And uh, I don't have complete statistics on how long it takes to charge this. On AC power, it took about eight hours to charge this from 20%. I don't have enough experience on solar yet to tell you, but I'll work on it. I like it. It's a good unit. I can use it to power my refrigerator. My refrigerator will run about 24 hours on this uh, on this uh, Jackery, and I can plug it into the AC because this refrigerator runs on AC and 12 volt DC. So I can plug in the refrigerator on this guy in the AC part or the 12, uh, 12 volt output part, which is here. Now you're always better, if you have a 12 volt device, you're always better to use the 12 volt output. It just uh, works better, there's less overhead, converting it to 120 through the inverter, that all takes energy. And you can actually see that energy, you can see how much it uses on the meter. Uh, it uses more wattage to, uh, to drive the AC thing, stepping up 12 volts to uh, 120. Uh, then uh, just going straight 12 volt to 12 volt. So that's good. And another trick I can do is I can take an extension cord, I can plug it in here, and I can plug it into my trailer, and I can run the whole trailer, the refrigerator and everything off the Jackery. That's uh, my AC input is here. When I'm in a uh, campground, I can plug into shore power with this outlet right here. I could just take an extension cord, plug it in there, and plug it in here on the AC here. And uh, that will drive the whole trailer. I, I don't know for how long. Uh, and I, you know, it probably depends on what I'm doing in there. But uh, I could probably go overnight, you know, with the lighting and everything uh, if I need that. So uh, multiple systems here. It's pretty good. You know, you lug this thing around, you can use it wherever you need it. Uh, I think people who uh, say this is a handy device, and there's quite a few of them, I'm in agreement with them. Uh, it is a handy device. So I have the uh, computers running off the uh, Jackery and the phone is uh, being charged at the same time. I have the phone set up as a Wi-Fi hotspot. Uh, it's great. This campground is great as far as Wi-Fi goes. I have uh, 4G and great connectivity so I'm pretty happy.